welcome ladies and gentlemen to my a brand new well not brand new but welcome to at the very least my first exotic car the lc 500h it's a bit windy here so what we're going to do is going to come inside the car i'm going to show you some lovely b-roll so welcome ladies and gents that well yeah this is right this is my sort of big grand reveal of the car i bought to replace the nissan 370z I wanted to make this video as good as possible, but I will just say from the off, unfortunately, my wireless mic has decided to die. So I preferred this to be a little bit more outside, but we'll wow you with some beautiful B-roll. And beautiful B-roll it is. This is an absolutely stunning car. Uh, and yeah, it's my first exotic car. There was actually a tease of this a few times now uh, here on the channel. If anyone cast their minds back to uh, Adam, Adam Seafest, and we just spent some time with the uh, LC500, which might be a very expensive day because I really, really want one now. Ooh, there you go. Uh, I never seen one in person before and I absolutely loved it. And I said there and then it could be an expensive day. I'll take these off. Uh, and it turned out to be an expensive day because two days after that, I decided that's it. I want one of these uh, and I bought one. This isn't the video to sort of explain how I bought it or why I, well, it's not to explain how I bought it because that's a very funny story and I need to get Nick for that. <sighs> Car dealers are just the biggest assholes you've ever met in your life. It was a, it was an eventful day. Um, but this is just to sort of show the car off, I guess. Um, show, talk, talk you through why I bought this one over the uh, V8. I think it's a five liter V8 if I remember rightly. Um, so I bought the LC500H to replace my Nissan 370Z, which I know you're probably looking at it going, why did you go for a hybrid over the V8? Well, a few reasons. So first and foremost, I did that because these hold their value more in the UK, significantly, about 10,000 pounds more. These hold their value uh, much, 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 much higher than the V8s. Fuel costs are going through the roof. I have two other cars which are very loud very grumbly they've got sr20 dt turbos in i didn't need another really loud car i just didn't i had no i got no reason to have a really loud another car i just didn't need to this is actually only tenth of a second slower in the 0 to 60 than the v8 this does a 0 to 60 in about 4.7 seconds which is very fast thanks to the hybrid motor and basically, I, what I wanted was a car to replace the 370Z and have something which was a lap of luxury. And my God, this is the lap of luxury. This is exactly the same one, model, spec, as the one I saw uh, at Adam Seafest. It is insanely beautiful inside. I have never sat in a, in a more comfortable, nice car. And I've never sat in a car that... Like, I mean, I've been outside cleaning this car a few times now because I had to do some paint correction on it because the previous owner, an 85 year old, let bird poop seep into the paint. But I've been outside and everyone's like, that's a beautiful car, I love your car. What an amazing car, my son loves your car. What is that? That's an incredible car. This car has the, just so much attention. But it's not just that, it's just such a nice car to drive. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's so insanely comfortable. This is just, in my eyes, this is the most beautiful car available today. There is not another car as beautiful as this. There just isn't. No car tops this in terms of the aesthetics. This is the most beautiful car around. So to talk you through some of the spec, obviously, it's the two-tone, well, I guess they're all two-tone, but we've got the absolutely beautiful, gorgeous red paint on the outside, which I was in two minds about getting because I've got a car shipping over from Thailand, which is also going to be red. So I didn't really, I, I was in two minds about it, but I, I just can't not. This, is the, this, this, in my eyes, is the best color. The most beautiful uh, metallic flake running through this paint. On the inside, we've got suede Alcantara headliner, Alcantara over on the dash. The, the, the it's, God, it's leather everywhere. It smells of leather, not smells, smells of leather. It's the most plush car I've ever been in. Obviously, we've got the back seats. No one's, 
no one's ever going to want to use them, are they? Let's be honest. Um, three-way, three memory seats, fully adjustable steering, carbon roof, dry carbon door sills, everything. And they've got the most amazing tail lights you've ever seen. Now, obviously, I'm you know I'm a big fan of JDM cars. This is a JDM car, and one amazing mod you can do on GTRs is infinity tail lights and they do look kind of cool on GTRs but this has infinity tail lights from factory you can't really see it fully in the daytime but you can see it enough and obviously you know it's on the screen and stuff you can see it and it, it's ah oh, it's just such a beautiful car they've got the 21 inch alloy wheels they're forged alloys I don't know what company Lexus does in fairness I don't really know a lot about this car Normally, I go into cars trying to know as much as possible. This, I didn't buy for that. I bought it because I love it. And I'm not, you know, just the looks. I love it, the drive. It's just such a nice car. I'm not going to be modifying this in any way. Um, it's also got the retractable spoiler, which is kind of cool. It's got full EV mode. And I know loads of people will be like, why go for EV? Guys, guys, come on. I'm getting old. I want a car that I can just hop in and it's quiet. I just wanted a nice, quiet car that was also fast. Now, I'm not going full electric. I'm not changing all of that stuff. I've still got my turbo cars. I'm still keeping them. But I wanted to do some videos with this. I wanted to bring this to the channel. And this is a, a car channel car. You know, we will be doing videos on this. Um, I can't do the paint correction video because I've already done it, obviously. Uh, but I'm just, I'm really proud of this car. And yeah my first exotic car it's probably going to be my last I'm probably never going to be able to buy another one um but I'm so incredibly I'm just floored by it. it's such an amazing car I love it I get in it every day and I'm just like this is amazing and I know this is a video of me just fawning over my car I get that there, there'll be two types of people that'll be watching this ones which will just simply hate because someone's got something nicer than them or something which is expensive or something which they want and then there'll be the others that will look at it and go wow you know well done you and you know that will push me on to be better I'm I've always fell into the latter category when it comes to these kind of things I see stuff and I'm like that makes me want to work harder and that's what I've done like I, I worked really hard to get this so this is just a video just to show you it just to show you it. I'm not going to talk through everything I like, anything I dislike. It's just a video to show you it. I've tried to make this video as good as possible. I detailed the car beforehand, but then it rained. It's been, a, it's been an absolute nightmare trying to get this video sorted. And then this bloody, because I've got this fancy new vlog camera, this stupid wireless, um, this stuff just decided not to work on me. So that's frustrating. And then I wanted to get my drone up in the air, but I can't get the app properly working. So it's just an absolute nightmare and a half, ladies and gents. However, I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Loads of photos come in. We'll be, I'll be taking this around a car show. It's supposed to be taking it down to Yakushi Show and Shine this weekend, but it's set to rain. Hopefully that pushes on. Uh, the forecast was, you know, 10 days out. So hopefully that, that'll change as the weekend draws in but i'll be around to car shows if you want to come and look at it please do come say hello i just i couldn't think of a nicer car this, this to me is is this is as beautiful as a car can get the lines are just amazing it, it doesn't get sexier than this car this is this is my old i call it my waft mobile because it's just so wafty so comfortable but i don't want to talk about that just yet guys we'll cover that in another video i hope you enjoyed this nonetheless ladies and gents if you did please give it a big thumbs up um and i will say this as well please do like and i've said i've said it before and i know it sounds even more hypocritical now because i'm saying it in this car but please do support the channel over on patreon and things like that this stuff can't be done without you guys channels literally are built off the back of you guys we're kind of me and nick both are doing what we would normally do like i was gonna if I didn't have the channel, I was still going to buy this car. This car's amazing. Um, but further videos, you know, content, traveling to places, things like that, modifications to the other cars, all these kind of things, they cost money. So if you do want to support, patrons down below. We've got awesome merchandise. There's the Pulsar GTIR shirt, um, which directly supports that build. Please do grab it. It's linked down below. Or there's the R32 GTR t-shirt as well. It's official merchandise. I made it. 
got a graphic designer to make them. They're one of a kind. Grab them. But thanks so much, ladies and gents. Follow me over on Instagram, Nate underscore car nonsense. There's going to be lots of photos of this car coming very, very soon, uh, guys, because, again, it's just so photogenic. <laughs> But anyway, ladies and gents, uh, my camera died, got too hot. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Give the, video, give the video a big thumbs up. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.